Question 1. What is slip in an induction motor? Answer. Slip can be defined as the difference between the flux speed ends and the rotor speed n. Speed of the rotor of an induction motor is always less than its synchronous speed. It is usually expressed as a percentage of synchronous speed ends and represented by the symbols. Question 2. What are the various kind of cables used for transmission? Answer. Cables which are used for transmitting power can be categorized in three forms. Low tension cables, which can transmit voltage up to 1000 volts. High tension cables can transmit voltage up to 23000 volts. Super tension cables can transmit voltage 66 kilovolts to 132 kilovolts. Question 3. How can you relate power engineering with electrical engineering? Answer. Power engineering is a subdivision of electrical engineering. It deals with generation, transmission and distribution of energy in electrical form. Design of all power equipments also comes under power engineering. Power engineers may work on the design and maintenance of the power grid i.e. called on-grid systems and they might work on off-grid systems that are not connected to the system. Question 4. Why star delta starter is preferred with induction motor? Answer. Star delta starter is preferred with induction motor due to following reasons. Starting current is reduced 3 to 4 times of the direct current due to which voltage drops and hence it causes less losses. Star delta starter circuit comes in circuit first during starting of motor which reduces voltage 3 times. That is why current also reduces up to 3 times and hence less motor burning is caused. In addition, starting torque is increased increased and it prevents the damage of motor winding. Question 5. Explain state Thevenon's theorem. Answer. According to Thevenon's theorem, the current flowing through a load resistance connected across any two terminals of a linear active bilateral network is the ratio open circuit voltage, i.e. the voltage across the two terminals when RL is removed, and sum of load resistance and internal resistance of the network. It is given by VOC Re plus RL. Question 6. Tell me what are the different methods for the starting of a synchronous motor? Answer. Starting methods. Synchronous motor can be started by the following two methods. By means of an auxiliary motor. The rotor of a synchronous motor is rotated by auxiliary motor. Then rotor poles are excited due to which the rotor field is locked with the stator revolving field and continuous rotation is obtained by providing damper winding. Here, bar conductors are embedded in the outer periphery of the rotor poles and are shot circuited with the short circuiting rings at both sides the machine is started as a squirrel cage induction motor first when it picks up speed excitation is given to the rotor and the rotor starts rotating continuously as the rotor field is locked with stator revolving field Question 7. Explain state Norton's theorem. Answer. The Norton's theorem explains the fact that there are two terminals and they are as follows. One is terminal active network containing voltage sources. Another is the resistance that is viewed from the output terminals. The output terminals are equivalent to the constant source of current and it allows giving the parallel resistance. The Norton's theorem also explains about the constant current that is equal to the current of the short circuit placed across the terminals. The parallel resistance of the the network can be viewed from the open circuit terminals when all the voltage and current sources are removed and replaced by the internal resistance. Question 8. Tell me what is your work experience as electrician assistant? Answer. Employers are looking for steady work employment and not short-term assignments and big gaps between jobs. You should be prepared to explain any gaps between jobs. Another piece of advice is to focus on work experience relevant to the position you are currently applying for as well as your most recent work history. Question 9. Explain advantages of storage batteries. Answer. Few advantages of storage batteries are mentioned below. Most efficient form of storing energy portably. Stored energy is available immediately because there is no lag of time for delivering the stored energy. Reliable source for supply of energy. The energy can be drawn at a fairly constant rate. Question 10. How does a phenomenon differ from avalanche breakdown? Answer. The phenomenon when the depletion region expands and the potential barrier increases leading to a very high electric field across the junction, due to which suddenly the reverse current increases under a very high reverse voltage is called Zener effect. Zener breakdown or avalanche breakdown may occur independently or both of these may occur simultaneously. Diode junctions that break down below 5V are caused by Zener effect. Junctions that experience 
Avalanche breakdown above 5V are caused by avalanche effect. The Zona breakdown occurs in heavily doped junctions which produce narrow depletion layers. The avalanche breakdown occurs in lightly doped junctions which produce wide depletion layers.